during heavy rain, a section of mountain so, uh, a section of a mountainside measuring 2.5 kilometers horizontally, 0.8 kilometers up along the slope, and 2.0 meters deep slips into a valley in a mudslide. Assume that the mud ends up uniformly distributed over a surface area of the valley, measuring 0.4 kilometers by 0.4 kilometers, and that the mud has a density of 1,900 kilograms per cubic meter. What is the mass of the mud sitting above a 4.0 square meter area of the valley floor? All right, so there is a lot going on in this problem, and we're given a lot of uh, different va variables to work with here. And I think I like this question because it really shows, it really emphasizes the importance of uh, making sure you really understand what the problem is asking uh, before attempting to solve it. Because with this particular problem, one of the hardest parts of it can be understanding the problem itself. So what's happening here is, uh, we have a mudslide, which I'll crudely draw right here, and there's a section of it along the, the, the surface of this slope, I guess, here. And we're given the dimensions for it as per the problem. And all this is going to slip down into the valley, and it's spread uniformly, meaning the way it's spread, all of it's going to have approximately the same depth all throughout. That is how we are idealizing this situation. And if all this mud is being spread out across this distance, we are then tasked with finding the mass of the area of just this one little section here, this four square meter section of the mud in the middle of the larger area over which it all spreads out. So when you draw out like a, a rough image of the problem, and kind of tell yourself what exactly is going on, what exactly they're asking for, it can start to make things much more clear how exactly you want to tackle this problem. So the way we have it given, uh, the first thing we might want to do is realize that because we're given the density of the mud and we're given the surface area over which we want to solve uh, for that mass, we can use the volume of this area in conjunction with the density, to find uh, the mass. However, in order to do that, we're going to need uh, both the density, which we have, and the volume of the amount of mud in that small area, which we don't quite have, but we are halfway there. We are given four, uh, four meters squared. We're given the area of that small little section. And as intuitive basic geometry knowledge will tell us, the, uh, the volume of this section with using the squared area of the, the area is going to be about equal to that area multiplied by the thickness of it or the height of that. So I'll just call that um, Z again for the thickness of that section of mud. And we have the area, but we want to find how thick that is. And we can figure that out using the information we're given about the larger segment, larger area of mud in this valley here. And this is why it's important that the question is careful to specify that the mud is being uniformly distributed over the area. Because that means, that allows us to make an idealization that the entire valley is now has the same thickness of mud all throughout. So what we can do to find this out, to figure out exactly how we're going to do this is, we can take the volume of all the mud that fell down and use that to figure out what the thickness is going to be. So if the thickness, z, is going to be equal to uh, the, the total volume divided by the area, then let's figure out what that volume is. So as given by the problem, Originally, the this, this section of mountain slide of side that's falling is uh, 2.5 kilometers horizontally, so I guess along the edge here. Uh, the, the slope itself is 0.8 kilometers long and is 2 meters deep. So converting all of our values, converting all of our numbers into uh, the meters here, so we have like units, we know the volume is going to be equal to the horizontal distance times the height times the depth. So for volume, I'll write this as uh, 
2,500 meters, because that is 2.5 kilometers, times uh, 0.8 kilometers, or 800 meters, times the depth, or 2 meters, which we're given as is, so no need to make any conversions there. And as for the area, uh, the area gives us that all of the mud is distributed over is 0.4 kilometers by 0.4 kilometers, or in other words, 400 meters by 400 meters. Okay, and plugging all this into our calculator, uh, the answer you'd get uh, for the thickness of the mud area overall is going to be about 25 meters. So now we have uh, roughly the thickness of the entire pile of mud in the valley. So now, now we can use this to get the volume of just the small section we're trying to solve for. So to distinguish it from the V I use for the total volume up here, I'll call it V sub A for the volume of the area. So the volume of the area then is going to be again equal to the smaller area, or I guess I'll say A sub A, times the thickness we calculated above, which is going to be the area, which is 4.0 meters squared, that's, the, that's the, uh, the surface area, or the cross-sectional area, I could call it, of that section, times the thickness, which is 25 meters. And again, doing this calculation gets us an area uh, uh, a volume of the section of 100 cubic meters, so 100 meters cubed. And now that is the volume, and now we're almost there. Now we can simply just use our density formula to finish this off. So as you know, density, or rho, is equal to mass divided by volume. And we're trying to solve for the mass here. So this will be rewritten as the mass is equal to uh, the volume, or uh, the vol or V sub A, the volume of that area, times the density of mud. And plugging in our values that we have here, that is 100 cubic meters of, for the volume of that small area, times the density we're given, which is 1900 kilograms per cubic meter. So let's sub that value in as well. And doing this final calculation, uh, the answer that we get for the mass of that segment of mud is equal to about 19 times 10 to the fourth power of kilograms. And that is the mass of that section of sand, or mud rather.